Hey guys, Shapeshifter here, and I got a hit grease one. But I just saw cobblestone, and I know for a fact that's not normal in a cave. And I've only, like, just started this. I explored a bit. But why would... I swear, if this is what I... I think is what I think it is. Also, I found it during the day, so... And this is like the worst cave for zombies. No, 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 no. Not dying. That's for sure. But according to this, I can just dig down like right here and eventually find it. Okay, it's right here. One go, bro. You want a flipping go, bro? Yeah. That's what. Don't. <laughs> okay, so this is terrible. But it does have a golden apple and a bunch of redstone, so. It's also got enough string for a bow. So I can't really talk. I've also now got in our chest. But How did it spawn? Great, I'm back here. I hate this area. It is literally the worst spot to be. Until you walk over here and you find a zombie spawner. Like, jeez. That's a lot of materials just for little old me. Actually, I should probably get some... I should probably get a better weapon. Okay. Now let's run over here. Where's that small cave? It's right there. Let's go get that chest. Okay, that's for me. I heard you. Ooh. Now I got half an armor thing. That's going to help me so much. Okay, I'm going to be right back because you guys don't want to see this.
the center of every story are people. People confronting tragedy and finding triumph. Do -do 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 Um, I can make this part slightly interesting by putting like a metric hectare ton of um, effects. Chicken. Um, where did I put my crafting table? But I really can't make it that interesting, so. something in the sky hopefully I time this right because it should say like comment and subscribe I guarantee you I'm going to time it wrong and I wouldn't look like a freaking idiot literally I usually time these types of things wrong I want to throw things all over the screen at a certain time but I never do it I'm going to do something very stupid. Yo, spider! Get off my platform. That actually just gave me a very easy source of food. 
for so many expected moms and dads. Like, look. Nightmare fertility clinic meltdown far worse than we first knew. This is it's a nine Can I sh put this in my offhand? Frozen eggs and embryos lost. New bomb scares as the FBI swoops in and makes an arrest for those suspicious packages filled with explosive materials sent to military sites, the CIA, the Secret Service. How many more are in the mail? A growing scandal at Michigan State. First, it was Larry Nasser. Hey guys, and just like that, it's morning. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, thanks for joining us. We have a sad and shocking follow-up tonight to our reporting earlier this month about a failure at a fertility clinic in Cleveland that resulted in the loss of thousands of frozen eggs and embryos. Man, you, should, you guys should listen to that comment. That totally was not me. Well. <laughs> we were there as she read about what happened to the three embryos she and her husband had stored. This is it's mind blowing to me, honestly. I'm sick. I'm sick. For several weeks, the hospital said it knew the storage tank had a problem with a part that automatically refilled the liquid nitrogen to keep eggs and embryos frozen. On top of that, the remote alarm system that should have alerted an employee to changes like temperature swings was off. Would you agree the letter you've written describes failure, error, error after error? There were many uh, errors or mistakes that seemed to appear. We are in the midst of our investigation. Before the failure, the tank manufacturer had sent a replacement tank to the lab, but none of the eggs and embryos have been transferred. An NBC News investigation... Sorry, just checking my YouTube notifications. Anything I want. Gonna have to check that out, definitely. <coughs> I want to go for it. You want to know why I keep inventory on? Let's do it. Hey, you! Fight me, bro. To what occurred and be helpful in the search for answers. Do you know if anyone here was aware that these tanks might have had problems in the past? At this point, uh, we're, we're unaware of that. Industry experts say there's no central authority. Bring it, bro. Fertility clinic. There is no reporting. There is no tracking. There is no oversight. This really is the Wild West. The Penimans had two children with the clinic's help and wanted a bigger family. Somebody's got to be held responsible. And I'm just, I'm sad because it gave me so much. And now here I am, you know, trying to. Where are you, bro? Figure out who's responsible. Yeah, come on, come, on. come here, come here, or I'll go there. At least 18 lawsuits have been filed against the University Hospital's fertility center, including one from the Penimans. Kate Snow, NBC News, Cleveland. Just hours Where'd he go? After a series of packages containing bomb components began arriving at government. I want you guys to put your thing in slow motion and watch them teleport. Arresting a 43 year old man, yet today still more suspicious packages arrive in the mail. Officials say the parcels have all been addressed to military facilities as well as in Did not notice that. Pete Williams has more on the bomb scare and the suspect. The packages were still showing up today at the National Reconnaissance Office, an intelligence facility in Virginia, and on this Washington, D.C. military base where White House... Stone you right in your eyes. ...addressed to the National Security Agency in Maryland. Yes! Took us like five to six tries, but we did it. Washington area. Roughly half of them... Um, let's throw away the mushroom. Yeah, screw the mushroom. FBI agents moved quickly to arrest a suspect at this mobile home in Everett, Washington. 43-year-old Fan Kong Fan, known to law enforcement officials say from previous mailings, described as badgering. Court records show he was involuntarily committed in 2011 for brief mental health treatment. Investigators say letters sent with these latest packages complained about the government controlling minds. The first was discovered Monday at the National War College on Fort McNair. Investigators say it contained a jar of black powder. As more of them turned up, they were found to have similar contents, including explosive material officials say, but lacking a key component, not capable of functioning as a bomb. How would you guys like my last videos? I want that written in the comment section. The government offices in Washington is screened at off-site facilities. Large packages are x-rayed, allowing hazardous materials to be intercepted. I'll finish this house off camera. As always, guys, bye! Too long.